chedo wangu kufika tonali pize tonali kusai na mapolisi ponduko pa udra zistende apa udra zi polisi pati so we are the busy day kai uno wa shikali ya swama tekanya when the sample is going to go on a trip, my younger brother will be shot. Sarah, I have found that she is not rich. She has just a computer to a GPM. So I had to rush there and give the instructions. I told you, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? But I will be there. Na vila chape ufana lupe Na nani desi wa ya mba kuna hapa payasti Kuzipo eza mbo mtima katui mba nyimbo za chichi Hapa mba ya kusana suwa kuti ni ya mbo kamba jere Toke ti ya mene na saina ya mbo za itambuye mbo ni kururu kire Suwa leta pafupi huyo Bati amgatu pihe na vila vashita tukope Aliko sili tosaka mba kondisho na mba Tukope Wanda kwaenda kwa mfone ni service La butike Na na wanyu kuchita emphasize uko wa chesho wanyu za tibule na fili minetzi Na kama na tibule mai na mpepo Na kwa zizi na Endi kati juni ya piti You know After kwacha like Pamela tuna ngedela chape juni Pa na wana mwamele ya ndila mpepo Haku mafoni mkati na kiposi Is it the opposition Is it trying to frustrate the works of government Now this is June is like It's sponsored by someone Sia murungui Mazipusa Pepani Pepani Siri mwonga ichapati Na mbena Na mbena maspichi kuja Na mbena waka mpano Mwone waku teki umu Waku teki walimo Na vila kuino natino We have a real percent now I'm sure wa directa Waku mboka isha time Yawe ni seven spirit Waku chumoni ya uja Waja tukani ya mula Kwa zeri pechani kupere kakusero Kaya kujabuni ofia kugaza Kugaza kuja Olo waposi wazi wako Ni kugaza kuja Chuoni alo wapasa ngenamo lina honta ni kukone kampere Simo ngena chigene ngene mucha Usara mwamene mucha I'm sure ni nipe time ya mbili Ya mbepo ene Mungata kwetua ino tanta mamuli ni roto Tuza mziwa yesu na mbepo ene Makaria ena mtu wapita moto wakara mbali mwa rotu uye mpeke za mbite Waenda na kunyumba wachita ripote ya tipeba vlogged off Mabosi maku teki visigiri ya mbwana Kusa kamba tijombe zumopre na kwa Thank you a bit wrong with a post to me Wana njombe Ladies and gentlemen now allow me to invite one of our consultants Mr. Kabani will also give his very short remarks before we get into dinner. Madam Emma will guide us on how we will collect our dinner, but I'll ask that the high tables remain seated because dinner will be, will be served. Mr. Kabani, please. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Okay, it's uh, wonderful to be here. I'm enjoying myself. It's wonderful to see my friends that are in the sober house. Great performance here. Let's give them a hand. I want to recognize the presence of uh, Dr. Siakwango and the wife. Uh, and in the same vein, just to recognize the great work that they are doing. Uh, four years of building and changing lives. May God bless you for the great work. I want to recognize the presence of the guest of honor, uh, director. It is great to have you here. And equally, our assistant commissioner, 
Allow me to say all protocols observed. Allow me to recognize my wife who is here with me for the great support of everything that we are doing and the little contribution we are making to Great North uh, Rehab Center. Now I want to give just a very quick short uh, talk. I have taken time to study drugs and actually how they work. That's my specialization. I've spent over six years of simply studying drugs and probably a three years postgraduate specialization uh, to do with drugs. So I've spent nine years in school studying drugs beyond grade four. But every time I'm asked to talk about drugs, I take time to read again about drugs. So today I took one of the reference books that we have in medical school, which is called a Make Money, and went to drug uh, addiction and drug dependence to read. One statement caught my attention. And the statement that caught my attention is a statement that highlights that much of people that end in drug addiction come from broken homes. And much of the people that end in drug addiction, those that don't come from broken homes, actually come from homes where they did not have a good relationship with their parents. Well, that caught my attention, and I think you heard the assistant commissioner also highlight something in that regard. However, this evening presents to us a different crop of parents. Those that want to support their children and help their children change, and actually for their children to actualize themselves into what they want to be. And that is what I want to emphasize on. I spend a lot of time with these guys when I visit them every Wednesday and have a chat with them. But also I have seen the effects of drug abuse both from the clinical side and from the social side. And I should mention that sometimes as families, in us trying to take care of our children, we may end up skewing our efforts towards only financial and economical provision. And as we do so, we may not know, we may be doing our best, go for work and we work hard, and it's a great thing because we want to provide comfort for our children. But unconsciously, by that working hard, going for workshops, going for work to provide a good house, to provide good clothes and school fees and take our kids to school, we may miss one critical thing, and that is developing health relationships with our children. And this has a way of showing up later on. And I think God also knows about this. There is an emphasis on relationship. Amos talked about the time that would come when God is going to bring an Elijah who is going to turn the hearts of children to their parents and parents to their children. And later on when John appears in Luke chapter 1, the Bible again talks, an angel is speaking to Zachariah and says, there is one who is coming who is going to be your son. And what he's going to do is that he's going to turn the hearts of the children to the parents and the parents to the children. I must emphasize that in everything that we are doing for our families, the greatest thing you can do, away from providing comfort, financial support, school support, and whatever it is, is developing sound relationships that are warm, that are intimate and personal with our children. Now these guys you have, that have been in the sober house have gone through counseling, training, and many things. And I strongly believe in them. I often tell them that you see there are two things that bring me here to talk to you. One of them, it is because of a great man who has a great vision who happens to be a brother and a friend to me, Dr. Siatam. The second one is that I believe in every one of you that is present here. That actually... There is a great plan God has for you, and God is going to realize this plan in it. Now, why am I bringing that aspect? 
I've seen commitment also in your children, young brothers, siblings, nephews and nieces that you have sent to Great North Rehab. And Great North Rehab has a team of qualified people that are doing a great work. But I tell them one thing, that the greatest medicine to addiction is French food. And I tell them that when you leave this place, if you are going to go back and continue hanging out with the old friends, then your time in this rehab is a waste of time. And I tell them, they know, that I often tell them to say, by virtue of you being here, it means one thing, you don't have good friends. If you had good friends in the first place, you would not be here. Now, they have committed themselves to going back and changing friends. But here's the thing. There is no person who can live alone and isolated. So as they leave the rehab and go back and decide not to hang out with their old friends, if there is no one who is going to fill the gap that the old friends have left, they will go back to the old friends. And I often tell them that there is always somebody ready to sponsor bad behavior. I'm yet to find people that are ready to sponsor bad behavior. On a Friday, your friends can spend a 2000 on you getting, getting you drunk. But the following day, ask for a 500 quarter to write GCE, they'll tell you they have no money. So there's always somebody ready to sponsor bad behavior. And you must know that bad company is always welcoming with both hands open. What does this mean? As these guys are coming out, they have committed themselves to change. But if they are going to go out and for three months there is no one who is filling the gap to become a friend or go back. What do I mean? You that are here as parents, as uncles and sisters, your work when these guys leave the sober house is not to go and be investigative agents. Well, when he's leaving, you say, oh, okay, bye-bye. Then when the person looks behind, they see heads that are going back. You are peeping at where he's going. You are checking how the money is being used. No. Your work is not to go and prove whether they have changed. Your work is to go and support the change that you have been supporting now by sponsoring the people who so as they leave, I want to speak mainly to fathers that are here. Mothers have time for their children, but fathers don't have time. Do not be too busy. You see, I want you to know one thing. I want you to know one thing. You may pride yourself in building wealth, but I want you to know that the day you die, there's one thing that your relatives can take and one thing they will not take. They will take your houses and your cars that you have accumulated and they will not take your children if they are not well raised. And you must know that 10 years down the line, the only leaguers that will be alive is the children you have left. So in everything you consider important, nothing comes above your children. If it means you taking leave from work, if it means you knocking off early, knock off early. I'll tell you something about your sons. Sons require you to be there with them. If you are running your business, take them to your business negotiations. Take them to your plot where you are building. Entrust them with responsibilities and have a deliberate and direct mentorship. This is what will keep... Most of your sons that you see behaving a certain way, it is oftentimes a reaction of rebellion to your absence in their life. So fathers, be deliberate about your sons. Being a tough father is not being harsh. It is being loving but fair. Mothers are often there, but I can tell you that a mother cannot feel the gap of a father. So I wish you God's blessing. You are already on the right track by the great work you have done to sponsor them. And for you, my friends that are here, just your parents being here is a sign that they love you. Sponsoring you into the sober house where you have gone is a sign that they love you. Do not betray that trust. And as they leave, sometimes they might find themselves going back. But I want you to understand one thing. The scriptures say a righteous man, not a wicked one, 
Even a righteous man fails how many times? Twice. Seven times. And seven times he rises. Greatness is in, in never, greatness is not in never failing. It is in rising every time that we fall. We are the support system. And if they are going to fall back, don't give up. Again, support until finally they are able to stand on their own. May God bless you and have a blessed evening.